Hi and welcome to this tutorial, teaching you how to drive the LMS Jubilee. Climb aboard the locomotive to get started and take a seat on the driver's side. The handling on a steam locomotive is different to a modern diesel or electric one, although it's using the same basic controls, the reverser, the regulator and the brake. Let's prepare for departure. First, we need to select the direction of travel. Move the reverser all the way forward to position 75. Next, we need to apply the brakes a bit, especially important if we want to start on an upper gradient. Set the brakes to 30%. Open up the large ejector next, which makes the brakes much more responsive. Set the large ejector to fully open now. Finally, apply steam using the regulator to get going. Set the regulator to 10%. Now we want to release the brakes and voila, the train starts moving. You can close the large ejector now. You may notice the steam coming from the cylinders at the front of the locomotive. These cylinder valve should be opened for a short time when leaving after a stop, making sure any water can leave the cylinders. You can close them with the cylinder cocks lever now. An important indicator on a steam locomotive is the pressure gauge the upper one in the lower left on your screen. It shows you how much pressure you have left. Remember, no pressure equals no power. The little arrow in the middle of the dial indicates if you're gaining, arrow up, or losing, arrow down, pressure right now. You want to keep the lower one as close to the red mark as possible for an optimal use of steam pressure. You want to make sure that you refill pressure when going down Close the regulator to do so, your fireman will take care of the rest, so that you have enough pressure for the next incline. It's important to understand that the reverser works similar to a gear shift on a car. Open it fully to get going and use a lot of pressure, and then slowly close it as you're traveling faster, making clever use of your pressure. Play with the combination of both the reverser and the regulator to be efficient with the pressure available to you. Learning the route is also something that can help a lot. You can get an idea of the upcoming topography in the pause menu. Well done, you've learned the basics of driving a steam train. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comments below. We're happy to help you.